What are the ways that strings can be represented in a Postgres database? And which one should we use? Hey, what's up? It's Mark at Alchemist.camp, and today we are going to talk about Postgres and strings. In order to do this, we'll create a database called Stringy that is just going to be a throwaway database for this example. And in this database, we'll create a new table that shows each of the three main types, which are characters, varying characters, and texts. So we'll just call this uh, stringy types. And we'll make our first column call chars, and that'll be type car8 or char8. Our second one will be called varchars, and the type will be varchar8. And then the third one will be called texts, and that will be type text. So pretty straightforward. And then we'll put some data into it. So insert into stringy types the following values. Uh, we'll just have two columns, I think, or two rows in here. Uh, first one, we'll just have ASDF in it. Not very exciting, but we'll put the same thing into each column so that it's clear how they're different. Second one, we'll have LKJ repeated three times for each of them. And then let's have a look at what we've got. We've got an error, value too long for type character eight. That's because this eight is the limit of the length of it. And I put in something with nine characters. So let's uh, just edit that query and we'll delete the first L from each of those first two columns. And now we should be okay. Let's just uh, select star from stringy types and you can see it looks like they're all the same they're not actually though we'll uh, we'll change the formatting here piece at format unaligned and now we can see from that query it's kind of interesting look at this the ASDF here is scrunched up against this one so the varchars just has an ASDF and the text just has an ASDF but the chars has ASDF and then four spaces. Here's what's going on. When you have a type of char, it's going to be exactly that length. This type is mostly still around in ANSI SQL for legacy reasons. There are very few times you want to always take up the full amount of space. It's really not any performance difference, whether if you go with chars or varchars. So you should pretty much always pick varchars over chars. Text is a little bit different. Text is Postgres specific. Uh, there is an equivalent for it in MySQL, but uh, if basically you're gonna use varchars for most strings that you put in your database, but if it's something long, like say the entire content of a blog post, something that goes over 255 characters, then you can use text and you won't hit any limit at all. It's uh, uh, for all practical purposes unlimited. So that's the basic difference. Chars are pretty much legacy only. They always take up the amount of allocated space. A varchar will take anything up to the amount of space that you specified, and it won't waste the rest. And they have equivalent performance, so go with varchars. Then text is uh, what you can use for really long inputs. Hope that's useful. See you next time.